Hey guys, welcome. Today what I'm going to show you is how to hit the speed bag and it's going to improve your skills as far as JKD training is concerned. So it's going to build hands and eye coordination. It's going to teach you sensitivity so you're going to act without thinking. So what I mean by that, you're going to hit the speed bag even between your eyes and close. So you're going to feel the speed bag. You're not even going to look at it, but in reality you have to look at it. But later on you don't even have to look at the bag, you're going to feel the bag. Okay? So not, this is not so much for speed, it's just to teach you to hit the bag from all angles or from all sides, okay? So we're gonna start with just a basic hitting, which is one, two, three rhythm. So it's gonna go like this, one, two, three. So it's gonna hit the board, one, two, three, then you're gonna hit the bag, okay? So it's gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. So make sure you hit with the bottom of your uh, fist. So you can hit it, some people like to hit it with the actual knuckles. You can hit it with the knuckles as long as you do one, two, three. So you kind of like rotate into the bag a little bit. Okay? So you just go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You can hear the bag one, two, three. So hit. You see how my hands, I rotate my shoulders and hips into the bag. Okay? So that's very basic. So. Now we're going to add a different combination to it. We're going to do, we're going to do double punch here. We're going to go straight and come right across. So we're going to go fist, him, fist, him. And I rotate my body into it. So it's going to give you an awesome workout. As I said, later you don't have to look at the bag, you feel the bag. Okay? up as much as you want, but later just, okay, so it's very simple, so one, two, three, one, two, three, okay, those are the two basic combinations, you can practice and build those nice shoulders, okay, so now next what we're going to do, we're going to hit the back from all sides, okay, so first what we're going to learn is called linking, so we're going to link the back. We're gonna cut across it. So if you take your hand and do it with fine sao here, your chop. So if I do fine sao here on the bag, you can see I hit it across, chop it, and come back on the same plane. Don't come on the figure eight, you can later. If you wanna do a figure eight, you can. Okay? But just the best way to learn it is just to cut across the bag. So here, pass it. Whether you do open hand or fist, just keep it same plane. So if you're doing fronts out, okay, or you do here, backhand, straight back and forth, you can do it. So if you want to practice your backhand, you can. Okay, so just cover five to go side to side this way. Okay, it's like doing BUG. Here, cut across, throw that BUG out. So. Okay, so now that's very simple. So now what we're gonna do, it's called front double punch. So we're gonna go one, two, okay, one, two, one, two. So it's gonna go left, right, right, left. So it's gonna go here. So, so one. So with the 
that looks pretty cool when you hit it like that really fast. Okay, so that's how you finish the combination. So left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do front roll. So we're gonna, as the back, so what you do, the way I teach it, and people pick it up really fast, you just roll your hands, and you just walk up to the back. Don't even look at the back. Just let it hit your hands or your fist, okay? So just roll it and walk your way in, okay? And I know your shoulders will stop burning, but that's the whole idea, to build it up. So the back only does one rebound. Hits once and hits your fist. Hits once, hits your fist. So it doesn't go front and back, then you hit one, two, three, then you hit it. So it's gonna go one. You can see, as I roll my fist, the back bounces off my fist. And sometimes you can press your hand towards it, but if you wanna be back here, you can as well. Some people do it this way. Some people bring their elbows up higher, okay? So that's front roll. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit from side to side. So we're gonna do side double punch. So the bag is gonna get hit from, from the side, okay? So if you notice, I go left, right, right, left. Left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Some people keep the elbows down, and some people bring it up this way, nice and high. So it depends how you, the most comfortable way for you. Okay. Okay. Now we're gonna do. We're gonna mix the two together. We could go front roll to side to side. Okay. So front roll side to side. Okay. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna do coming from the rear double. Okay, so front, double. So front double punch, rear double punch. So it's gonna go one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So it goes here. You can see the hands, how they roll. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna mix them together. So we're gonna go. Okay, so we're gonna go front, rear, side to side. So that looks much cooler, right? So now let's get into the actual elbows. So we're gonna, different ways of using the elbow. So I could go from the fist to the elbow. So you know when you do inward elbow, outward elbow, or front elbow this way, okay? So whatever's comfortable, I go here. So once this passes off the fist, you bring the elbow up. So, one elbow here. So it's gonna go like this, elbow, 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 okay? So now we're gonna put it into a combination. We come with the fist, one elbow fist, okay? One elbow fist, okay? You can just go elbow fist, elbow fist. So now you mix it up. So that's like outward elbow. So now if we do downward elbow, we can come down with the fist. So one, two, fist, elbow fist, elbow fist. Okay? So now let's get into the real uh, fancy part of it. We're gonna do what it's called phantom punching. So the phantom punch, you hit with the fist and you come with an elbow from underneath. See? So you go one, two, you switch to the other side. So let's say, let's stick to this side here first before we move to the left. Okay? So you notice fist, elbow, fist. So here, fist, elbow, fist. So when we go to the other side, elbow, fist. So here, elbow, fist, come with the fist. So you can mix it up, so it's gonna go like this.
See how I rolled the elbow? It's like you do an inward, come back here with the back hand. Also, we're gonna go elbow boom. You get a hit. So here, you go fast. So here, you hit it. Okay? You go fast. So now, what we're gonna do, what I call is bumping. So you're gonna do the fist, bumping. So here, or you go from the front. So the back only bounces on your fist or on your, on your hand is here, okay? So you let the back go side to side or you go up and down. Okay? So try this one. This is, might look hard, but it's not that hard. So fist, let it bounce. Let the back do the work. Just all you have to do is just tap it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do rear bump. So give it a double bump. From the fist, come rear bump. Fist, rear bump. Okay, so fist, rear bump. So when you're doing the combo, you can insert this in the back. So if you're doing front double punch, double bump. So here, double bump. So you can insert that bump into any combinations you're doing, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the actual, uh, what I call the Fallon punch. Instead of the phantom punch going here, if you notice it goes fist, elbow, goes from underneath and it returns here, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll into the elbow. So we're going to do the, what it's called, pajan. We're going to go inward elbow. See, it's different. It looks the same, but it isn't. So here, so this one it needs a, to pick up a little bit of speed to be able to roll it because you, you have a split second to roll into it. Okay, so we're going to go from here, roll, roll. So the elbow drops into it. Okay, let's try it this way. Okay, okay see that's how you get to so this is the phantom, you notice I go here, here, where this one I go here, here. So I drop it down. Okay, this one what I call up and down elbows. So the elbow goes up and down and fist. So it's gonna go like this, down, okay? You notice the elbow goes up and comes back, down. You can do it from the side. Okay. Let's try it this way. You notice how it goes up and comes back. So it hits here, then it hits from the bottom. So it goes here. It goes up. All right. So now what we're going to do the front. Elbows. So you do double on the elbows straight before you hit it. So you let this elbow goes, you let it bounce off the elbow. Then you hit it with the, with the fist. Okay? So it goes. I always try to practice both sides. Okay? So that's why it's important to link these things so you can. So you can actually flow into it and it makes it much easier, okay? Don't hit me back. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do now. Um, this next combo, what we're gonna do is from this position here, we're gonna do what is called a four-way elbow, okay? You can notice I hit elbow fist. So when the elbow fist goes here, this one meets, this one comes back. So it goes like this. Okay, so you're gonna work your body like this. So, I mean, some people, my arms are kind of big, so it's hard, some people really bend it, and then some people have a hard time with it. Because my elbows are really thick here, so it's, the smaller you are, the better it flows for you, okay? So pretty much like, 
there's a there's an endless amount of combinations I could show you on this bag so again for this time just try to focus on just using very basic stuff because again I could do like a front roll then I could reverse it and instead of going forward I could come backwards see I'm rolling instead of going forward I go back so my fists are rolling backwards this way and you can do the same thing on the back here you can see it rear you can bump it here so there's an endless amount so hopefully this will help you just to get you started so start with the basic one two three then, then start adding a front double front roll side to side hit the punches and roll into it okay so this this way you have a little bit now okay so let's start again so we're going to go with just the basic one two one two three two three front roll front double phantom roll phantom So I hope you enjoy this and uh, don't forget to subscribe and ask a lot of questions. This unit, uh, you're not going to find it in the stores, it's something I built, it's called Porter Speed. So if you want more information about it, please don't hesitate to contact me about it. So we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.